paddy comes under the naturally self pollinated group of plants with less than 4% of natural cross pollination the inflorescence of paddy is known as panicle which consists of large number of florets called as spikelets each of them consists of bifurcated stigma and six stamens and closed within the lemma and pallea the anthesis commences shortly after emergence of panicle the spikelets at the tips bloom first and proceed downwards in a bicipital succession the time of anthesis is around 8 to 10 am in the morning but that also is influenced by the weather conditions the spikelet remains open for about 30 minutes the anther dehiscence takes place immediately after opening of the spikelets the stigma remains receptive for one day the process of cross pollination in paddy is done using different techniques and methods like clipping method hot water method cutak method rain method vacuum emasculation method dr ramia method in this video we will be dealing with vacuum emasculation method for better understanding of the whole process we have divided it into four sections the first section deals with selection and preparation of female plants second deals with clipping and emasculation of female plants the third section deals with selection of pollen plants and collection of panicles and the fourth section deals with crossing of male and female parents to produce a fern day 1 section 1 deals with selection and preparation of female plants on the day 1 first the female plants are selected from the field in the morning time for the selection of the light plants one must be looking for the plants which are having partially panicle exertion or in which the flowering is about to begin the plant should be carefully uprooted to avoid any kind of root disturbance and damage which can result in drying of the whole plant the uprooting is immediately followed by tagging of the plant to avoid any confusion in the later stages of crossing these tag plants are then transferred to the earthen or plastic pots and is watered immediately further they are kept in a shady place to prevent it from direct sun rays coming in contact to avoid its drying day 1 section 2 Section 2 deals with clipping and emasculation of female plants. The process of clipping and emasculation is done a day prior to the day of pollination, preferably in the evening after 3 p.m. The partially exerted panicles are selected for clipping and emasculation process. In the selected panicles, top one third and bottom one third portions are clipped off by using scissors. leaving the middle spikelets as the bottom ones are still immature and top spikelets may have already matured within the remaining spikelet top one third portion of each is clipped off using scissors in a slant position such that the anthers gets exposed these anthers are then removed with the help of needle but in this process of hand emasculation only small number of spikelets can be emasculated by a, a worker in a day so instead of using a needle nowadays a vacuum emasculator is used to make the process much faster within the vacuum emasculator six person can operate and emasculate approximately 3000 to 3600 spikelets per hour points to be noted k 
care must be taken during emasculation to prevent any kind of damage to female reproductive parts. Also, at the end, each of the spikelets should be inspected for any remaining stamens to prevent contamination from the foreign pollen. The emasculated spikelets are covered with a butter paper bag. Day 2 Section 3 Section 3 deals with collection of pollen from pollen parent. In the early morning around 8 to 10, the panicles are cut from the selected plants of the pollen parent. Only the panicles which are partially exerted are selected as they are about to reach the anthesis. After cutting of panicles from plants, the flag leaf is separated and they are evenly cut from both the ends. These collected panicles are then kept in an enclosed room undisturbed for 2-3 to three hours close to light source with it bottom portion dipped in water. This condition helps in uniform anthesis or opening of spikelets. After 2-3 to three hours, the panicles generally come to full bloom and are ready for the crossing purpose. Day 2 Section 4 Cross Pollination in the female plant, the top portion of the butter paper bag is cut off to expose the panicle. The male parent panicle is inserted in an inverted manner into the butter paper bag and moved in both the ways in order to disperse the pollen. The open butter paper bag is then closed using a pin. Then a tag is attached to the cross female plant which consists of First, name of female and male parent, date of emasculation, date of pollination. After crossing, the plants in the pots are again transplanted back to the field and allowed to grow under normal field conditions. The crossed panicles are then harvested and the seeds are carefully extracted and are grown in next season for further analysis. Thanks for watching the video. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel Agricarious.